Welcome to Going Wild Outdoors, the channel all about outdoor adventures. This episode, we check out the Sunset Luau at the Waikoloa Beach Resort Marriott Hotel. It's about an hour and 10 minutes long. We also have a condensed version of the Luau. You can check the link out right about here. Anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. It starts now. Day. Now an emu is an underground oven. It's a big pit that we dig in the ground. We light a fire in that pit, first of all, number one and we use Hawaiian mesquite wood called keave. Now that wood burns really hot, and when that wood is burning, we actually lay a layer of porous river rocks. Uh, these river rocks hold the heat for a really long time, and when the rocks get really hot, what we do is we wrap our food, in this case our pig, in banana leaf and tea leaf, and then we seal the pit with layers of dampened cloth. Back in ancient Hawaii, we used tapa cloth, which is pounded out bark from a special tree that makes beautiful cloth. We would use that in ancient Hawaii, but because we're in uh, modern times, we use dampened sheets from room 631. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. After all the layers of the seal is put down over the pit, what we do is we pile a big mound of dirt over the top. Now the reason we put a mound of dirt on the top is the trick to a good emu is to seal in all the heat. We don't want any steam released or anything. We keep all the heat inside um, like a good Instapot. So as you can see right now, let's see. Let me see if I can see what they're doing. All right, they're down on, probably you're gonna see them peel back the first layer of our seal. And uh, as they do that, if you're in a good nose shot, after they peel back all the seals, you're gonna smell the delicious food inside. Now, one interesting point about cooking with an emu ladies out there, when you cook with an emu, the men do all the work. Woo! Yeah, I don't like that idea. Why so good, right boys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So we're gonna peel the, the layers back right now. Um, of course, those layers keep the heat in. Um, of course, it's dampened, so it creates even more steam. Um, and obviously, the many seals keep the dirt out, out. So that's a good thing. All right. You can cook all kinds of things in an emu. There we go. So uh, there's the tea leaf and the banana leaf I told you about. Now that usually wraps the food that we're cooking. And what we do is we, we take out all the tea leaf and all the banana leaf. We save it on the side for all of our vegetarian. Yeah! I'm, I'm just kidding. I mean, after you smell this pig, I don't think you'll be a vegetarian for too long. Well, maybe. So, ladies and gentlemen, of course, with new modern technologies like chicken wire, it's so easy to... <laughs> it's easy to keep the pig in one place. So, there you go. How about a nice hand for our handsome Hawaiian men? So what they're gonna do is they're gonna pull the pig out of the ground, they're gonna put it on the tray and rush it over to our chef. And within minutes, you're gonna see that actual pork dish on your plate as you go down our wonderful hot station. So once again, everybody. Aloha ahi hagi ka ko. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our land of aloha. To our island paradise. Hawaii, our home. Tonight, through our songs and dances, we share with you that extraordinary mixture of people and cultures found nowhere else in the world. Our Hawaiian ancestors traveled the vast oceans of the South Pacific, guided only by the stars. They sailed courageously in their double-hulled canoes in search of a legendary land northward beyond the horizon. And when they found it, they called it Hawaiiki. These ancient explorers were bronze and tall in stature, and skilled in the knowledge of the sea and the skies that led them to this new land we now call Hawaii. We present to you now, a Tihati production, here at the beautiful Waikoloa Beach Marriott. 
with you a legend of a love story of a young princess named Kalua. Her father was the high chief and in his lineage it is forbidden to fall in love or marry any commoner or foreigner to these lovely shores for this would surely mean death if these ancient island taboos were broken. But Kalua fell in love with a handsome young foreigner whose eyes were as blue and sparkling as the waters off Kailua Bay. His hair bright and shiny as the moon that shines over Hualalai. Kalua's love affair with this foreigner is found out, and her father, the high chief, is outraged and angered, for his only daughter was the first to break this ancient island taboo. Kalua is now being escorted through the village by her father's own personal guards. Her heart is aching as she sends her last farewell to her proud people who love and cherish their young princess, who would have someday become the most beautiful queen ever to rule over their island nation. And now, Kalua dances her last hula, not knowing that her lover has already sailed away. The beautiful legend and love story of Kalua. Kapo, no ka ini e kal lua. No, no ka ini a kapu uvai o vai la kali alo ha a kapo. Ho o heno ne ka ipo ya o e. Kapua i mohala i ke au moe I ke poe ke aloha makamai Nuna kaua kau no ka i ini e kalu This is my night of love this is the hour of Kalua. My arms are open now. My heart has spoken now. Who will be Kalu? Was only love. Before the night is o'er, my arms will hold Kalu. Her father's guards will escort her to the village 
for the very last time. The only one that can save her now is her father, but this is impossible, for her father has sailed to a neighboring island to spare himself the pain and agony of witnessing the sacrifice of his only daughter to the fire goddess Pele. The time has now come for our lovely princess to meet her final destiny. Aloha no vau yaoi e kalua. This is magic land, the rainbow's end. Your dreams can live here, next door to paradise. And love that lost its way to find again. So many different places, so many different races. My island dream embraces one and all. This is Hawaii. Please spend a little time with me Beside the silvery sea Right next door to paradise Come on! This is Hawaii Next door to paradise This is a magic land The rainbow's end Your dreams can live here Next door to paradise Love that lost its way Find again So many different places So many different races My island dream embraces One and all This is Hawaii My wondrous land Please spend a little time with me Beside the silvery sea Right next door to your path Gentlemen, mahalo for joining us here at our Sunset Luau. We started our show tonight sharing with you the hula kahiko, or the ancient form of hula. Now this particular hula paid tribute to our fire goddess Pele, which she lives, our mythology says that she lives here on this island of Oahu. I mean, big island. I go back and forth. In fact, you can see her splendor now at Hale Mau Mau Crater in Kilauea, right on the east side of our island. Our second number we did for you is The Legend of Kalua, and I hate to break it to you folks, but that song has nothing to do with our Hawaiian culture or history. Oh, Hollywood! It was a beautiful song and dance taken from a movie called Birds of Paradise. Anyway, I... Us Hawaiians would never sacrifice the whole princess into the volcano. Maybe some of her hair, but not the whole princess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was 600 AD when the first migration came from the Marquesas Islands. A few hundred years later, the Tahitians came in a second wave of migrations. We take you there now as we share with you this exciting dance from Tahiti, the Otea!
importantly aloha means love now if you really look at the word aloha it actually has two hawaiian words that make up that word aloha now the first half of the word aloha is the word alo everybody say alo alo means in the presence of or face to face second half of the word is simply the word ha everybody say ha ha means breath but the deeper meaning is the breath of life so when we greet each other with the word aloha what you're saying is I'm honored to be sharing this breath of life with you face to face. Isn't that beautiful? Turn to somebody right now and say aloha. There you go. Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> and although this is a Hawaiian luau, you probably figured out already not all songs and dances that we're doing tonight are Hawaiian. That goes to show our close relationship with our Polynesian brothers and sisters from Aotearoa, Samoa, Tonga, and Tahiti. We take you again close to the islands of Tahiti. We take you to a group of small coral atolls called the Tuamotus. There is a dance there called the Aparima. It's a very exciting dance. And you're going to see our ladies come out on the stage with some colorful head crowns and hip bands. Now the aparima is like the hula, but here's the difference. In the hula, the story is told with the hands. In the aparima, the story is told with the hips. And the faster the hips, the more interesting the story. So ladies and gentlemen, we take you down to the tuamotus with the aparima.
sa sawila Uro uro na nilipatay Na nilipatay Na nilipatay Aha, na nilipatay Ladies and gentlemen, a nice hand for our dancers, the Aparima. We Polynesians are known for our navigational skills for hundreds and hundreds of years. We use the stars and the heavens to navigate the vast Pacific Ocean, pinpointing small groups of islands time and time again. We share with you uh, the drum beats of the beautiful place called the Cook Islands from Aurora Tonga as we feature our men tonight. This dance pays tribute to the Tevake bird. This bird was used in navigation because when you see it, it means land was surely close by. Please make a lot of noise for our men from the drum beats of Rarotonga! time sharing our cultures with you uh, we also take great pride so we hope you learn something about us as well as be entertained tonight and have fun now we get a request almost every night we want to see the request is we want to see the traditional hula done by our lovely hula dancers in the hula grass skirts well good news is we got our hula dancers standing by they're gonna be donned in our hula skirts now they're not made out of grass they didn't legalize it here yet. <laughs> They'll be doing two of our Hawaiian hula dances. The first one is called Ka'ulu Vehi Okekai. It talks about the delicacies of the sea. And the second is Ale Koki. Now that song talks about a favorite bathing pool by one of our ancient queens. They will also be using two of our Hawaiian hula implements. The first one is a instrument called the Ipuheke. Now the Ipuheke is a hollowed out board. You play it like a drum. 
The second is called the Uli Uli or the Hawaiian Feather Rattle. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back as we share with you the hula of this place called Hawaii. How about a nice hand for our lovely Hawaiian hula maidens? So how about a nice hand for our men as they take the stage to do a fun hula for you called Teve Teve. Talks about the freshwater Hawaiian guppy that swims upstream. More on that later. But we need some help in this dance. So do, do we have any men that would brave this stage to help us with this next dance? Come on up. Come on up. Don't be shy. We need some brave men up here to show us how it's done. How about two of you guys? Come on up, guys. And dad, dad too, come on. Come on, all the guys, all the guys. All the guys. We need the, we need the guys. Come on up, guys. Right oh, there. Come on. Don't be shy. All right, help us push these guys up here on stage, man. Come on up. How about a nice end for these guys taking the stage right now? Thanks, guys. There we go. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Come on, little guys. All right. Take the stage, guys. Take the stage. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's spread it out a little bit, guys. Last call. Come on, last call. There you go. Bingo. All right. All right. How about a nice hand for all these guys here on stage? All right. 
All right, the back line, this is what I want you to do. I want you to do whatever the front line does. So if the front line goes right, you go right. If they go left, you go left. If they do this, you do that. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand for our brave men as they share with you a song called Teve Teve. round of applause. They did a great job. Wow. Mahalo, boys. Mahalo. That was great. Awesome job, man. Woo! We're going to take you back in time a little bit. Take you back to post-World War II. Hawaii became a hot spot for tourism. Many songwriters came to these islands and wrote many hit songs that were popular all around the world. They were hapahaole songs, that's Hawaiian songs with English lyrics. Now these songs took to the world and we're gonna do for you a medley of these wonderful tunes and we're gonna feature our hapahaole hula ladies. So ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand for our lovely hapahaole hula girls. All of the time in the tropical mind they do the hula. I fell in love with this chocolate dove that he does this one a little dance. This little kid, well, she never did a be loving before. So I made him a mind, strike out a fight. The only girl that I adore. Well, 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 I love my little hubba holly. Who's the girl? Kind of makes you giggle. Who's the girl with the little wiggle? Who's the girl with the naughty ummy ummy? Together, just you and I, and a little cool heaven and 
a dream of love. here at our Sunset Luau. So we're gonna celebrate something right now and we're gonna tie it into one of our traditions. We have a tradition to celebrate the first birthday of every single child that's born here. The reason is back in ancient Hawaii it was said that if the child could last that dangerous first year, they had a great chance of a long and healthy life. So we throw a huge luau that starts on Friday when we throw the pig in the ground, doesn't end till Monday when everyone's crawling back to work. And the one-year-old has no clue what's going on. But it's a great time and it's a big celebration. So if you are celebrating a birthday today, stand up. Any birthday people out there, come on. Stand up, yay! A nice hand for the birthday people back here and back here. And stand up, stand up. All right, a nice hand for the birthday people. Now the rest of us, let's sing happy birthday to the birthday people back there, okay? You guys ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Haole la hanao! That was fun. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we take you now down to the most southern tip of the Polynesian Triangle. We take you to a place called Aotearoa, or New Zealand. We share with you, first of all, a welcoming ceremony called the Pohiri. It's the lone Maori warrior will come out, and he'll be donned with the moko, or the facial tattoos of the Maori people. And he might be making some very scary facial expressions, so don't be alarmed, okay? He'll be making facial expressions somewhat like this. Something like that. You'll also hear the beautiful cry of our wahine as they dance for you and the fierce presentation of the haka. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back as we take you down to the land of the long white cloud, Aotearoa, New Zealand where they greet you with the phrase Kia Ora.
ladies and gentlemen. Now that our welcoming ceremony is over, allow our dancers to share with you a dance called the Vayata Aringa, a dance that tells a story with action, as well as the haka and the skill of our wahine as they share with you the poi balls of Aotearoa. Kia ora! Gentlemen, throughout our history, couples from around the world traveled to this place called Hawaii to celebrate their love. And tonight, we'd like to share with you a beautiful Hawaiian love song that you might recognize. We're going to do this one for all the lovers here tonight. So if you're in love, raise your hand. Raise your hand. We want to see the lovers. Very nice. Very nice. Two hands. I like that. 
Well, there are some couples out there. That only one person's raising their hand. I'm not sure about that one. So I like the double hand. <laughs> I'll just see. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to do this song also for all the honeymooners. So all the honeymooners make some noise. Yeah. Raise your hand. We can recognize you. How about a nice hand for all the honeymooners here? Hey, honeymooners. Congratulations. See ya. I see you, honeymooners. All right. Now, I don't want to forget about the couples I call the veterans of many wars. We got some. So if you're celebrating your anniversary on this trip to Hawaii, raise your hand as well. Where's all the... We got an, oh, we got a whole table over here. In the front? How many years? No? 14? How about there? Five zero? Oh my goodness, 50 years right here. Give him a nice hand. What, we got 45 over here? How about a nice hand for them, everybody? Wow. So, how many? 30? Wow, God bless you, 30. All the honeymooners go take some notes over here at this table. My goodness. Congratulations to y'all. All right, my wife and I actually just celebrated our 25th not too long ago. 25, yeah. Our daughter's 29. You guys do the math. Whoops. We're, we're gonna do... We're gonna, it happens, man. We had a built-in built in flower girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a song of love going out to the lovers, the honeymooners, and especially our 50 years married. Here's the Hawaiian wedding song for you. Now we wanna feature our featured hula dancer. How about a nice stand for the lovely Haunani? <laughs> this is the moment. I've waited for I can hear my heart singing soon bells will be ringing this is the moment of sweet alone Then forever, promise me that you will leave me never here. And now, oh dear, all oh my love, I vow to you, promise me that you will leave me never. I will love you longer than forever Now that we are one Now that we are one Clouds won't hide the sun Blue skies of Hawaii smiles On this wedding day Love you, love you with all my heart. I do, I do love you, love you with all my heart. How about a nice sand? for how many are loving featured hula dance. Everybody having a good time with me, make some noise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we take you now to the islands of Samoa, and we're gonna kick it up a notch with a dance called the Siba Afi, or more commonly known around the world as the Samoan Fire Knife Dance. I think I caught them off guard, guys. All right, here we go. 
We're gonna do that one more time, and I'm gonna say some more in Fire Knife Dance, and then the louder you are, the more dangerous this this guy gets. All right, so let's make a lot of noise. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samoan Fire Knife Dance! All right, enough. I'm not gonna give away all my moves. Okay, enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the finest in the land, and he's gonna knock your socks off. But we need to take some precautions before he gets out here. So please, ladies and gentlemen, Stay in your seats. And if you're in the front row, too bad. I'm just kidding. But please, if you have children, keep them at the tables. Don't let them come any closer than, than that. All right? We don't like crispy kids. But just stay right there. Please turn off the flash feature on your smartphones and your cameras. We want to limit the flashing lights in the eyes of our fire knife dancer. So, everybody ready? This is the exciting Siva Afi with one of Hawaii's very finest fire knife dancers. Make a lot of noise for Kipani Pa!
I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you're paying close attention. Because for some of you, it might be your turn. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all had a good time tonight. Did you have a good time? Make some noise. First of all, everybody, how about a nice hand for our banquet captain, Harold, the bartenders, the staff, the chef, the service. Also, everybody, how about a nice hand on the sound and lights? We have Noah and Randy. Give them a nice round of applause up there in the booth. Now, these guys behind me, very talented bunch of musicians, singers, and drummers. How about a nice hand for the Tihati Serenaders? Ladies and gentlemen, please keep those hands good for your host of Paradise this evening. Come on! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, he just lit this place on fire, literally. How about a nice hand for one of Hawaii's very best? Oh. Kipomi Pa! the real stars of tonight's show. Make a lot of noise for the men and women oh. of Tihati. Episode. If you're ever on the Big Island and want to check it out for yourself, we'll leave a link in the description box below to the Sunset Luau. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment down below. You can check more of us out at www.goingwildoutdoors.com. Remember, get outdoors. The adventures are endless.